Hello, Divine Collective. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley, and I am here with some cosmic downloads for you guys. As you tap in, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Make yourself at home. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I drop a read. I hope you guys are having a fabulous afternoon. I'm doing well. The link to my self-published poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well as the About section. I would like to take this time out to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you to my day ones. You guys have been nothing short of amazing. And I truly appreciate every single last one of you. So, let's tap let's in, y'all. Mm. My bad, y'all. I'm drinking my smoothie. Y'all, fire. When I say fire, I don't know if y'all got a planet smoothie where y'all at. But, baby, this strawberry banana is hitting. <laughs> this is my lunch for today. Um, so let's tap in, y'all. But, okay, these are vibes. I was kind of picking up on an ancestor message. Like, so this may be an ancestor's message. Uh, yeah, it is. Because this is the vibe, y'all. So it's a, it's a specific group of people that were working together behind the scenes attacking you, right? And this specific group of people were told by a practitioner how powerful you are and how high ranking you are in the spirit. Now they want to call a truce. But the only problem is your ancestor says it's a fucking no. Okay. It's no truce is being called here. They want their head on the platter. All right. <laughs> and that's just that. Okay. So, um, like, your ancestors are saying, this karmic debt isn't going to pay itself. And you damn sure not about to uh, take on anyone else's karma where you have worked extremely hard uh, to break off generational curses off your bloodline. That simply is not a fucking going to happen this lifetime. This karmic debt isn't going to pay itself. So these motherfuckers better huddle up and see who's going to take the fall. But actually, they're all going to pay on a collective level, collectively. They're all going to pay the ultimate price for what they have done. It's no fucking truces. Do these people are finally coming to a realization of the bloodline, how powerful your bloodline is? And your ancestors, they, uh, they don't play that shit. And they definitely are the type to call truces because your ancestors believe in karmic judgment, okay? Judgment. Every action that a person inflicts or the chosen one, it has a consequence. Your ancestors not too fond of letting motherfuckers get away with shit because your ancestors watch these people strategically plot on you for years, so your ancestors not trying to hear none of that shit. Your ancestors don't give a fuck about bodies dropping. Your ancestors don't give a fuck about who get hit. Okay? They have to pay. That's all I'm hearing, y'all. And like I said, this shit not going to pay itself. You're certainly not going to pay it. All right? They have no choice. Your ancestors don't give a fuck how harsh the karma is. How these motherfuckers, they just can't take it. How motherfuckers feel like they want to end it all. Do it, because we don't give a fuck. These people made their bed, now they must lay in it. It is very, like, what they are going through is, like, very harsh, okay? It's unbearable, is what I'm hearing. It's unbearable. But, like I said, when you inflict any type of pain intentionally or someone chosen, you have it's harsh consequences that comes with that, okay? Your bloodline is one of power, respect, and authority. And the shit that happened to you this lifetime, that shit was it. It, it was unhonorable. It was unacceptable, and it has to. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers. It's a lot of people paying for what, what they have done. The only people these the only reason these people want to call a truce is because they can't handle the ass whooping your ancestors is rendering at this time. Okay? But your ancestors, it's like when it comes to you, they have no feelings. Not like that. Like when it comes to motherfuckers fucking with you, they they have no feelings about who have, and anybody could get it. That's what I'm that's what I, I'm hearing. Anybody could get it. 
everybody is getting it. Okay. Everybody is getting it because they curse their whole lineage. They curse their bloodline. So everyone on a collective level has to feel it. Even if it was a motherfucker that, he, if, that didn't even have any parts of this, just by being connected to these motherfuckers, they gonna have to feel it too. That's how I go. Okay. Because once upon a time, these individuals were working behind the scenes Try it to stop your legacy. Try to prevent you from growing. Try to prevent you from awakening. Okay? Try to just prevent you in general, in all aspects. So, yeah. <laughs> Look, this on top of this day. Obstacles and challenges. Yeah. These people were behind the scenes trying to cause misfortune to you. These people wanted to see you fall. That's why your ancestors ain't got no mercy. It's no mercy on these motherfuckers. It's no fucking mercy. Okay? And the reason why it's no mercy, because they work so hard. Look, portals, portals keep popping up. What would I say in the last reader, y'all? You've opened ancient portals, and now your ancestors here, and they all ass. Okay? But look. The reason why it's really no mercy for these motherfuckers because these individuals was behind the scenes. The reason why you was going through these life challenges and these obstacles and you was going, your life was just haywire at one point and you were lost on your, on your uh, journey is because of these individuals. They were conjuring shit. They were conjuring entities to distract you, to disrupt you, to block you. Okay, these people wanted you to self sab wanted you to sabotage yourself because they was behind the scenes conjuring shit up to try to make you go crazy, to make you self sabotage, to uh, make you experience all these losses so you would just throw in a towel and give up. Okay, these individuals co was conjuring shit. It's like these people thought that they were powerful and they thought they was tapped in and connected until. Until you've awakened, until you came, okay? Because the shit that they were conjuring, they wasn't aware that, like I told y'all, you are uh, protected by real niggas in all realms, okay? They didn't know the shit they was conjuring in the portals they was opening. These are beings that fuck with you. These are beings that protect you. These are beings you have dominion over, Okay, so the nerve of these individuals, these motherfuckers was doing everything to cause an instability to your foundation. They was doing everything to end you. They went to the extreme. They resorted to black magic. They resorted to conjuring demons and entities. So no, it ain't no fucking truces. Your ass gonna lay down and die. You gonna lay down and pay any way the ancestors see fit. And that's just the vice. So... <laughs> Let's tap in, y'all. Uh, but that's definitely the motherfucking vibes. Yeah, childhood trauma. Okay. You're being healed. Archangel Raphael, it's like I was picking up, y'all. It's so it's something you was experienced. You went through something, a hearse. You were de deceived as a child. Okay. You was deceived as a child and you went through some type of abuse. You went through something that was very traumatic. Okay. And you are being healed. The angels are helping you to heal from this. You're being guided uh, to actually speak about this, okay? Because speaking about traumatic situations, something I found out myself is quite healing, okay? It's healing because you suppressed it since your childhood and it's bottled up. You have to let it out. Like choose a, a healthy outlet to let out uh, what you have buried so deep within your being, and the angels are helping you with this. And these motherfuckers, you were deceived. You were violated as a child. And someone is someone has to pay the ultimate price by death. Whoever did this to you as a child is going to die. And that's period. Okay. <clears throat> Look, <laughs> we have, it's a corrupt practitioner in your family. You come from a family full of uh, a karmic family full of wishes and warlocks. Well, this I, I I don't know why this say corrupt preacher, but I got a corrupt practitioner. Okay, it's someone in your family that deceives you that does heavy magic. This person been doing magic since your childhood, but this is someone that that disguises themselves. Okay, they disguise themselves 
um, use their religion, but they're very corrupt. Okay, this is somebody in your family that's high that is or was heavily involved with the church. Okay, like I said, it's it like for some of you, this group of people could be individuals of the church, a religious group. This could be your family. This could be a friend group. This could be a community. Just take it where it resonates. But it's a group of people that was informed of your high rank and your power and your lineage. Okay, and upon them discovering this. And upon them being inf uh, informed of this, they now want to cause some type of truce or make some type of, uh, like, come to some type of agreement or something. But your ancestors said it, so no, that shit dead. That shit is dead, okay? It's off with their head. They have to pay because this karmic debt isn't going to pay itself. And that's just period. So let's tap into the vibes with this thing. You speak truth. This is all. Look, I'm talking. I'm speaking to a leader here. Like I said, bro, the things you experienced in your childhood is uh is for you to speak speak up on. This is what's gonna really put you in, in in your position of power. You are meant to speak about this. What you've been through and you speaking about it and helping others to uh to uh, helping others to heal from their childhood trauma. Is real is really gonna put you in your life purpose. A lot of you already in your life purpose. You're speaking your truth. You're leading. It, it was these experience was help you was it and desire for you to help you to heal others and to guide others and to assist others because you're a leader. Okay, you're a leader. You're the leader of the pack. You're the leader of your bloodline. You're just a leader in general. You have these leader capabilities and qualifications. This is why your lineage chose you to lead the bloodline. Okay? You could be an Aries. All right? You're meant to be speaking some type of truth here. And like I said, whatever this is, what you went through, what you experienced, did I say a good way to heal from it is to let it out? It's just to speak about it. Even though, you know, it may be uncomfortable, but you never know what, how many lives you saving or who you touching just by speaking your truth, period. That's what leaders do here. That's what leaders do. All right. Okay. Million dollar goals. Yeah. This is going to bring you a lot of success and prosperity. Being in your purpose and speaking your truth, although it's uncomfortable, although you you may feel like people is going to judge you or ridicule you, it is necessary. You're you you speaking your truth. A lot of you already doing this, and so you're saving lives. You're saving lives. You're bringing awareness. Okay. <clears throat> Like I said, with this truth here, these this group of people discovered the truth. They were informed of the truth that you are this wise leader, that you are very high ranking, you're high honor. <laughs> okay. Let's get some more energy. Yeah, look, you're worth billions. Your tax bracket is changing. Okay, your tax bracket is changing. You, you, someone, you are, you, you're fully operated in your purpose. And this is your, this is bringing you a lot of prosperity. Your tax bracket is changing. Okay. You're going to be going so because you was already born a millionaire. You was already born a multi-millionaire. But with you receiving everything that was stolen from your lineage, plus with you, uh, like, you with you having different avenues of income and everything, you're so, this lifetime, you're going to go from a millionaire to a billionaire. All right? I can't make this up, bro, because you're, you're in your life calling. You're a powerful messenger. Okay, and your ancestors be speaking through you. This is why people be they be intimidated and fearful, and this is why your voice is so powerful because you're a direct you're a direct portal, you're a channel for for the ancestors, and your ancestors be speaking through you. Okay, and your ancestors they manifest through through you. This is why 
you you must use your voice. Your voice is very powerful and you're here to heal and help millions of people around the world. You never know. Shit, you damn there did say so in life. If you're if you I'm speaking to someone, someone that ain't power though. You're speaking. You have a platform. You're a powerful messenger. You don't even know how many lives you already saved and how many lives you're saving just by showing up. And this is why it's no fucking mercy because these individuals try to block your power. They try to block your gifts. They try to block you from your destiny. And they think that is that your ancestors gonna get them a slap on the wrist. They must be smoking crack. I mean, <laughs> that's the only fucking conclusion I could come up to because I be mean, I could come up with because it don't make sense. These people try to body bag you. They try to murder you. They try to X you out. They even try to stop you. They try to stop your legacy. This is a very this is very serious. They were informed how serious of, of a consequence this shit is and how they really fucked up. Okay? They really fucked up. Because the angelic realm don't play about you. Your angels are... Your angels are here. Your angels is tired of these motherfuckers. Okay? Tired of these motherfuckers. For real, for real. You could be saying, die, what, what? September 11th is highly significant. Okay? You're protected, you're protected by... Multi dimensional bees in our realms, especially the angelic realm. Like I said, your angels are helping you to heal from some type of childhood trauma that you've been suppressing that you need to speak up about. You need to write about. You need to write some, a book about. You, you need to speak about this because you're going to save souls. Period. Okay. <clears throat> Look, we have booked and busy. Bro, it's your calling. Your, you being this, a wise leader is your destiny, and it's going to bring you a lot of prosperity. You're going from rags to riches. You're, you're, you're a whole success story, okay? Your, your destiny, your purpose involves you helping and healing humanity. You're a powerful messenger and a wise leader, period. Look, I can't make this up. Look, big, big mistake. They was at Ford that this this was the was the biggest mistake ever. They was never supposed to do this shit to you because it ends in death. Death before dishonor dishonor here. Misfortune. Yep. How they tried so they was conjuring. This is why you went through a lot of suffering and you went through a lot of misfortune. If you went through a lot of financial changes and your finances were never steady, were never stable. You never really was stable in life because these motherfuckers was conjuring up shit, conjuring up entities, fucking with uh the fucking with the dead, fucking with the spiritual realm, conjuring up shit they had no education on. Okay, and that shit backfired. Now they're experiencing a lapse. They're experiencing a lot of misfortune because they made a big fucking mistake. OK. They biggest mistake was trying to rewrite what the most high has already set in stone. Shit. Let me write this down. Biggest mistake was trying to rewrite what God already set in stone. That I mean, that's a serious offense. That's a serious offense, and they they have been notified of that. They have been notified of that. Let's get a few more. Then we're gonna clarify some things. But yeah, this is definitely an ancestor's message. <laughs> so they said, shit, this karmic dad ain't gonna pay itself, my baby. Fuck y'all thought. This shit ain't sweet. It ain't no game. This chapter, and your ancestor said this chapter of your life is invite only. Invite only. You're like top tier type energy. Okay? Everyone is it designed to be around you to know you, to meet you, okay? You're high honor. And, and, you, and your ancestors, they treat you as such. Wealth transfer in the reverse. I can't make this up. They try to rewrite. They try to stop. Well, they try to stop 
not only your legacy, but what was uh, what was left to you. They tried to stop you from living out your destiny as someone very, uh, very, very wealthy. It was already set in stone for you to become a very prominent, wealthy figure. It was already written for you. You you was destined to, to become a multimillionaire. You were destined to be well-known and worldwide. All that fucking money, all the money these individuals had, any type of, any type of recognition, all right, any type of wealth, all that shit is coming to you. Mm, this movie is so good. Something significant about the winter. Somebody's name could be Winter. All right, something significant that that happened this winter. Uh, your tax, your your tax bracket. This is where you start to see A A A and seven 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 a lot in the winter months, because your tax bracket is is changing this year. You're gonna be you're becoming a a, a wealthy figure. You're a millionaire. You're a billionaire. All right, this is your year. We have Efa. You could be studying Efa, or you are Efa. You're highly connected. Uh, with the Orisha, the seven at the African spirits, I, the initials IFA is highly significant. Okay, so yeah, let's clarify a big mistake. Clarify a big mistake. Yeah, firm foundation. Okay. It was a big mistake to underestimate your power because you saw why you carry your whole bloodline on your back. Okay? It was a big mistake because you outranked these people and you have way more power than them. And like I said, like with you, you're the head of your lineage. You're the head of your bloodline. These motherfuckers don't know. This is why your 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 bloodline is unshakable. The foundation is unshakable because you come from powerful leaders, powerful messengers. You come from powerful from power and prominence and honor. Okay, you carry your whole bloodline on your back for many a lifetimes. These people underestimated your your strength, your power, and your rank. These motherfuckers just thought, I don't know, dude, I don't know what the fuck these people thought. This is crazy, though. Motherfuckers need to, should just stop thinking all together because it clearly got these people in some shit they can't get themselves out of, okay? Maybe motherfuckers should just stop thinking, all right? These people not as smart as they thought. You beat them at their own game. You outsmarted these people. I can't make this up. <laughs> you outsmarted these people. All right. Your level of wisdom and intellect cannot be fucked with. Clarify misfortune. Disruption. Yeah. It has been a disruption to their foundation. All right. And they, these people, man, these people going through it. These people are being annihilated, discombobulated. These people are being slayed. Like I said, you see how his head right here? Your ancestors want their head on a platter. Death before dishonor. Checkmate. <laughs> I just swear it funny. Checkmate. Okay, down, y'all. I feel like my eyelash coming on. Okay, let's go. Um, okay, spirit. Clarify powerful messenger. Okay. Patience and planning in a reverse. Patience and planning in a reverse. These people were not thinking when they attack you. They failed to do their research before attacking you. They failed to do their due diligence on who protects you and your spiritual rank before they attack you. Because uh, they are, they have been informed how powerful you are. You are a powerful messenger with a very powerful soul's mission, and you will see it through. And it ain't nothing these motherfuckers clearly, uh, evidently, is it's nothing these people could have done to stop this. You cannot rewrite history. 
You can't rewrite what the fuck already been set in stone. Who the fuck do you think you are? Okay? These people were very, very arrogant and very food. Why is these... Oh, my God, bro. They're very arrogant and very foolish. Like, to even... It's like they did this. They they did this with, without a thought in the world. It's like they did this and they just knew that they would defeat you. Whew. Plot twist. But it was a major plot twist. A major plot, plot twist. Clarify. What's this? Movement choices and decisions. Yeah. These... Uh, they didn't choose wisely in a situation. Okay? They chose the wrong one. They chose the wrong one to try to sacrifice and attack. They were blinded. They were tricked by the enemy to attack a chosen being. And this is what uh this is what manifested their misfortune, their downfall. They was a, they was tricked. They they were tricked. They were highly mistaken to even think they could fuck with you on this level. They were highly mistaken. And it's clear. It's apparent. Clarify your tax bracket is changing. Clarify your tax bracket is changing. Fertility, yes. Nothing but abundance and growth and prosperity. Okay. Yo, 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 uh, yo, bank account is, is, man, it's about to be, oh, like an overload. Your, your bank account is, a, is about to be like a budget full, like, like big, okay? Huge, major, all right? Not only have you ascended spiritually, your tax bracket has ascended as well. Your tax bracket is really, change in here. You're going to have to change your location. You're going to have to change up uh, uh, how you move. Okay. You're going to have to move like you the president for real with this type of money you're about to receive. Let's get my final message, y'all. Look, y'all, why do this always come out? I can't make this up. Your harvest is here. It is nothing no one could, is going to do to try to stop this. Okay. This is your your material harvest is being protected. You've you've you're you're reaching you're reaching a a a, a close and you're clo you closed out this karmic cycle. Now you are ready to receive your harvest, okay? And that's just the vibes. Like um, someone has to pay this karmic debt, and a sh damn show ain't gonna be you because this is your this is your season of growth, of abundance and prosperity, and. That's the bites. I love you guys. If you want to book a session or you simply want to donate to the channel, I will leave that information in the description. Till the next video. Love y'all. Bye.